Hello, everyone. I am Krista Jack, and I am coming to you on behalf of the Chamber Coalition from Dakota County. That is uh, the group made up of the Burnsville, Apple Valley, Hastings, Lakeville, and River Heights Chambers of Commerce. And I am bringing you one of our CCDC shorts today. And I'm excited to welcome Zach Kretschmar, who is uh, a financial advisor with Thrive and Financial. And we are going to talk about something that, that's exciting, Scott. It's, it's called Secure 2.0, and it's a student loan match. And it is a new benefit that is available to employers, and we want to make sure that you are aware of it. So, Scott, we've got a lot to cover in a very short amount of time. So, I'm going to take away, Scott, tell us, what is this program? Um, thank you, Krista, for this opportunity. The SECURE Act 2.0 in 2022 offers this, um, with employers are now able to match their employees' student loan payments in the same way they would match contributions to a defined contribution retirement plan, such as a 401k. This is a newer benefit for employees to offer and is rising quickly in popularity because of the attractiveness it holds to prospective employees. Employees can match up to $5,250 per employee tax-free. Then anything offered above that is considered taxable income for the employee, similar to a bonus. Okay, so Scott, then why is this important for employers to know? Yeah, it's important for employees to provide competitive benefits package in order to attract and retain talented workers. This newer benefit option is a great supplement to a strong benefit package that can bring in quality employees. Also, it's important to be aware of since this tax benefit for employees for matching student loan payments is if it's only available through 2025. Since this will not be an option forever unless they extend it, it is, it is important for employees to take steps now if they want if they want this benefit to offer to attract employees. And I think we're seeing that more, Scott. Right, with the younger generation, they're they're more interested in that immediate uh, financial relief, right? So I think this is good when they when they can see that they would see some immediate. Yeah, and, you know, and they also found that right now that the overall student loan. Um, balance for in, in, um, students right now is about $37,000 on average. So this is a way to really knock that balance down proactively and quickly. Wonderful. Okay, so then who is eligible? So any employer that sponsors a defined retirement contribution plan is, uh, is eligible to offer this matching student loan payments. Defined contribution retirement plans include 401ks, 403bs, 457bs, and simple IRAs. Employees can determine some eligibility requirements for employees to receive this benefit when setting it up. For example, employees can decide to offer the match to all their employees, or they can decide to limit it to full-time employees. Okay, so they've got some options out there. Where can employers get more information? Yeah, there's definitely a lot of details that are within this plan, Krista. So employees can find out more information about what they're allowed to do by looking further into the Secure 2.0 Act or unless enlisting the services of an HR or payroll company. And then how do they get started? What are some of their first steps? Yeah, the first step to take for an employer considering this benefit is to determine how much they would like to spend on matching student loan payments. Employee, employers can offer up to $5,250 a year to per employee, but it also can be less than that. The second step for employers is to determine their eligibility requirements for their employees to receive these benefits. Then the employer should confirm that their proposed plan stays within the IRS guidelines. If they do, employers can add this benefit to the written plans, written benefits plan. Scott, that is some great information, and I think um, what a neat uh, opportunity for employers to just have that extra benefit to be recruiting. Uh, we, we talk so much about that right now, and so if you're an employer and you're listening to this and you don't already do this, reminder, uh, it, right now it's scheduled to end in 2025. We don't know if it will get extended, so it's something I would definitely look into right now. And just a reminder, it's the Secure 2.0 Student Loan Plan is what you are talking about. So, um your financial advisor or anyone that you work with will be able to answer that. Um, so on behalf of my partners in the uh, Chamber Coalition, uh, and those are the chambers of Apple Valley, Burnsville, Hastings, Lakeville, and River Heights Chambers, we want to thank you for watching this CCDC short. You can see this and all of our CCDC shorts on either our YouTube channel or our webpage or through your local chamber. Thank you so much for joining us.